lads, lads, lassies, after four very long weeks, we're at the finale <laughs> of the first season of My Hero Academia. Very long weeks for you. For us, it's literally been two days. <laughs> Holy cow, yeah, it hasn't been two days. But my Eesh. name is Josh, and with me is Mikaya, and... Uh, Hello there. I've seen My Hero Academia, I've seen it from season one to season four, I've seen both movies, love this show. Uh, Micaiah has not seen this series, and he uh, he's like, Josh, we gotta, we gotta start watching My Hero Academia. I'm like, I foolheartedly agree. <laughs> yeah, yes. And here we are Just, now. Yes, and here we are, at the finale. Last uh, episode. In each of our hearts. Hype fight. Hype fight. <laughs> All Might vs. Nomu. Seriously hyped. Nomu got blasted out of the USJ, and now um, All Might's he, he's running out of time. He's smoking. <laughs> uh, oh dear, you're smoking. Oh, oh my, you're smoking. <laughs> oh dear, you're smoking. Oh man, I love the principal. So cute. The principal, the principal's adorable. Principal. Mizzou. I know we mentioned that this when we did our four or ten episode streak. Uh, yeah. But honestly. Miss marketing opportunity. They need a principal. Plushie. They need a plushie because I would buy that. <laughs> yes, yes. Just the stuffed animal. Like he needs to be a stuffed animal. It, he's it's, it's the most like of all the plushies you can make. He's the one that literally translates into a plushie the best. Yes. Justice to be served. Justice to, to be, be served. served. <laughs> now for a lesson. Now for yeah. a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> We just heard this like five minutes ago. We did. But it's so hard! <laughs> it is oh, a trap! Still so freaking nice. <laughs> <laughs> we are killing those high notes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah we are. Watch, we turn Jam into a music channel. Oh, I bet. 500 subscriber goal. <laughs> Not attacking me? Didn't you say you were going to clear this level earlier? Well, well come and get me, if you dare. Yeah! He's on his own. The children appear to be frozen in fear. No, that's no, not they're not in fear. <laughs> Definitely not. Yeah, that's not going to work we very well. Still have a few minutes there's there's a reason they were knocked down. If you well, All Might uh, just like knocked them down basically in one punch, so... Yeah. Well, like, but no. we also have Bakugo and Todoroki. Yeah, yeah, Todoroki could just take them down in one move, too. <laughs> He's still thinking about this oh, like it's a video. Kind of emphasizes like how mature he is. Mm, yeah. There's your backup. <laughs> There's your backup. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there it is. Oh, that flop kills me. <laughs> yeah, smash the hand quick. That's not good. I recognize that hand. Punch the hand. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Man, the voice actor laughing for Shigaraki is great. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're here. There we go, the pros. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Good job, you know. Hey, we got to see what Love Dude does. Oh, and uh, your mic. Ah, uh, yeah, you can finally see your present mic in action. <laughs> so he's basically Black Canary. Yep. That's pretty dope. Yeah, I love this. Uh, his name's Ectoplasm. I love his design and his power. That's sick. Yeah, that's awesome. Just one pro took down like all the villains there. <laughs> now you yeah, like yep. <laughs> a whole staff. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Oh, 13. 
<laughs> no, Deku just flopped on the ground. Legs broken. Again. Small knight, medium knight. Yeah, there you go. There's his quirk. I'm just so glad that you're it's okay, he's earned his tears now. <laughs> yeah, this time he's earned it. Ah, Kirishima. I'm glad to see that he's looking out for his friend. Oh crap, wait. If he comes over here, he's gonna learn my secret. Not good. <laughs> Kirishima, wait! Oh, nice. Safety, please stay back, young man. Nice, that's a pretty sick car. Karaoke? Hmm. Sauna Mahjong. It's a big thing over there in Japan. Oh, Sauna Mahjong. Oh, okay, got it. We just weren't as prepared as we should have been. Hmm. I agree. We underestimated. Dude, this is giving me flashbacks to Moriarty. Ah, uh, kind of. Hmm. Next time, you will show the world that it should be afraid of you. Right after my arms and legs heal. I'm kind of like Deku yeah. right now. I, I, I can't walk. Yeah. <laughs> he he kind of shot me in the kneecap. In the elbows. <laughs> <laughs> I was a villain once. <laughs> I took a bullet to the knee. <laughs> uh, she's naked right now. That's her quirk. The landslide zone. You wouldn't believe how strong Todoroki was. He's amazing. You don't say. Well, I'm just glad you didn't get hurt. I didn't even know she was there. I could have frozen her. Aren't you wondering about more? Interesting. We have no way of knowing if his eyesight will be impaired once he's healed up. Dang. Well, yeah. you heard the man. Yes, sir. It's a cat? Bruh, he woke up one day, it was just a cat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe his parents were cats and he was born like a, a cat on, person. Class now. Yeah, yeah, oh, I no, maybe he was idiot. born a cat and then he got a quirk and he became a human. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I'm surprised they don't have like for buses specifically for superhero people. But I mean, I guess if most of them are normal size. What, super buses? <laughs> yeah, super buses. Well, that's the most furry friend. Yeah. Well, he doesn't, he doesn't know about... The uh, Gordon to his oh, Batman. He doesn't know about yeah, the, one for all. Yeah. He just knows that his identity. Yeah, got it. Not counting this boy, the only student injuries were scrapes. And both of the teachers are in stable condition right now. And uh, his injuries were self-inflicted too. Yeah. Students would never have made it. The cool thing about this song that they're playing right now, it's um, it's the fight theme. You say run, but slowed down. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's actually sick. It took me four seasons to learn that. <laughs> <laughs> so many heroes. There's 20 kids in that class, man. 20 potential mm -hmm. heroes. And Bakugo. <laughs> and Bakugo. <laughs> and one potential vote. Well, okay, technically, 18 potential heroes. Bakugo with potential villain. And Mononimon. Purple. Spinetta. <laughs> the dropout. We're just like making nonsense noises right now, trying I, to sing along. I know a few of these words, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like I could say one word, hum, say two words later, but like hum, fifteen verses. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a racer head? No, nope, not a racer head. Interesting. Was it the tongue that gave it away? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, that's not that's not what I saw was tongue. <laughs> no. So, how was the how was the season? Good. Like just I mean overall it was just a good intro. It was just solid story time. And like it's kinda so a lot of them stories recently have begun to elevate themselves to like this sort of high art level where there's a meaning that you can draw from it if you look at the story closely enough and like there are these moments between characters that have special significance and that's cool like that's awesome that it's getting to that level but 
it's also really, really nice every once in a while to just just watch a story that's just really entertaining. Like that's just good. Yeah. You know, that like it just it just smacks. You know, <laughs> this, this, this story so, smacks. It hit different. <laughs> yes. Yes. Absolutely. Um. So yeah, that's just like my overall feeling walking away from it. And I mean, there are definitely lessons you can learn. Like this entire story is meant to be inspiration in the most extreme way possible. Because like that was that's the biggest impact that superheroes or golden age heroes, I should say, had was they inspired us to be better i guess like the yeah, best stories at least they, the they, best they're supposed to inspire us to be better yeah they're supposed to inspire yeah. us to be better they're supposed to be, inspire us to become better people yeah 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 so this is meant to do that same thing where you have a quirkless random kid who's actually at the bottom he's the lowest of the low and then he just fights and struggles to become one of the best like it's reminding you that you can struggle and struggling has a value it, yeah, and I mean, it's a classic lesson that it's kind of being forgotten yeah. nowadays. I mean, a lot of a lot of yeah. heroes aren't doing like the whole um, uh, the the whole struggling part. They're kind of skipping over that part. Yeah. Well, and I mean, okay. So a big part of that was that struggle and the worth that can come through it is really, really connected to the American dream, right? Of you work hard, you get your dream. Mm -hmm. uh, and the American dream oversold. Pretty, pretty massively. <laughs> it's like the top, like one or 0.5 percent that actually get the level that everyone is at. But that doesn't mean your work is completely worthless. Like, so that's something. Be American culture has realized that the American dream is overselling massively. Like, they, they're basically calling bull on, right? Right. Um, and so that's sort of bleeding over into our superhero stories, where it's not about the American dream anymore. It's uh, actually, without that idea of struggling and growing because of the struggle, superhero stories are mm, like they, they don't have much in them. It, other than cool, it, 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 there's there's like um, a missing substance in it. Like um, yeah, there's there's a hole left behind. I, I love to be a dead horse, but Captain Marvel. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it, it's just so it's so perfect easy. example. It's like, of I bring it up, I bring it up so English. much. I bring it up so much because it's like the perfect example. Like my hero academia, you have Deku. He's Deku. He struggles. Um, and he learns his like he learns um, what it actually means to be here. It's not easy, <laughs> you know. No, yeah. Uh, and he's Whereas even Captain more of an Marvel. underdog because like, mm. his body literally is rejecting kind of the quirk. Like his body's breaking under the pressure of the quirk. So whereas yeah. you know Bakugo, he's born with um, like his body's kind of like yeah yeah we we this body is literally evolved to take this quirk. Deku's body's like how about I break? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. But Captain Marvel, oh. it, like it skips all of Carol's. Um, like her struggle. It, it skips her struggle um she's not overpowered in the beginning of the movie well she kind of is uh, compared to a human but like she's not overpowered yeah. in the beginning of the movie and then without any struggle really she becomes extraordinarily overpowered at the end of the movie and it's like yeah. it, it doesn't feel like you earn it at all no yeah it's there's there is no no okay if something doesn't cost you anything, it must not be worth it. Yeah. That's, that's fair, right? If that's, I go to the fair, store and fair. I get something for free, it's probably worth less. If Captain Marvel's character, her identity, and her power base didn't cost anything, it's probably worth less. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's pretty fair, actually. Yeah, no, yeah. It, it's just true. But, like, if it costs you that much, if Deku is losing that much every single fight, if he's willing to give that much for it, it's gotta be that valuable. And it just, it connects the audience that much more closely with the win, it makes it feel that much greater, it makes it that much more engaging of a story when there's stakes. Um, so it's just, it's just better to lose something so that something better can be gained. Like, um, Deku... Like, uh, like, with me per personally, when he didn't break his arm <laughs> fighting Nomu, it was like, yeah! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, it's, it's the win, right? He's maturing and he's growing, and we can actually see the maturity and the growth. Uh, and that was 
Actually, okay. You know what? No, no, no. We're bashing a lot on contemporary comics, uh, but Miles Morales actually struggled. In spite of his yeah. Wait, it wasn't this kind of struggle. No, no, no. no it was it, just it, awkward. Wasn't like, it was more like, of a... It, like, Deku's, like, in a physical struggle. Miles is more of, like, a mental struggle. An emotional struggle, an emotional right? Struggle. Yeah, he was so shockingly, realistically <laughs> awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and so he had to struggle through that, he had to struggle through awkwardly swinging around with his power base. And then once he had learned why he was struggling so much and how to overcome it, that made the win feel that much greater, right? Yeah, it's, What's it's up, just, danger? It's just uh. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And then we got that shot and that scene. One of the and best just, like, Spider Man scenes. For him the entire time. That, that's like easily one of the best Spider Man scenes because, like, but that, like, that scene doesn't add up to anything if you didn't have the past hour and a half of movie to no. build up, like no, to build no. up all of like Miles's, um, all of his like confidence issues, all of his uh, like issues when yeah. like he's swinging, all of his awkwardness as a hero, and then like it all builds up, it all culminates into that, like that spark. Ugh. I love that movie. Yeah. Yes. Definitely. Everyone loves that, that movie. movie. <laughs> Easily the best piece of Spider-Man media ever. Uh, Possibly the best superhero movie ever. Possibly, I can't think of a. I, it's it's it, it, it hits every nail movie. perfectly. Yes, absolutely perfect, and it's also just gorgeous, really entertaining, and fresh. It actually takes a really old story and makes it fresh again, which is like that's just easy to appreciate. It, yeah, um, like to make something like that fresh is like, ugh, thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yes, um, but, but yeah. Yeah, Spy so Hero Season 1 is over, and now we're going to get into Season 2, lads. So if you, if you like this, yeah. uh, then make sure you hit that subscribe button, because we're going to do the entire series, and then hopefully I can catch up Micaiah for when Season 5 comes out live. <laughs> so we can yeah, do hopefully. that, um, like our Mandalorian reactions. We did those live uh, as the episodes dropped weekly. We uploaded them as quickly as we could, possibly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like... <laughs> Next day or the day after that, as soon as possible. Josh was. Okay. I'm over here. I'm over here editing like home. <laughs> that's my <laughs> work. <laughs> Super uh, editing. Yep, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's his quick. Um, but yeah, we also have other stuff that I honestly don't know how we're gonna have time to react to. We've got Avatar. We've got Gravity Falls. Uh, we, we uh, Anthony yeah. and I are going through uh, Halo. Oh, uh, I'm yeah, playing Republic gotcha. Commando. Those are still coming. I'm going through uh, Gurren Lagann by myself. Uh, whenever the dub for Promised Neverland and Attack on Titan season four come out, I'll be going through those by myself as well. Maybe I'll take Makaya through Attack on Titan. Depends what kind of time we have. Definitely not going to be yeah. catching up when the dub comes out for that because I'm expecting that to drop no. like, within a month. Maybe <laughs> there's that's, there's Ooh, three yeah, seasons. No but uh, Ooh, no maybe change. maybe I'll like go back and do a retrospective with Pekai because ah, uh, my like my hero and Attack on Titan are some like, two of my favorite animes. <laughs> yeah, they're really high up there. Understand. But we'll see what the future holds. But thank you all lads very much for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment down below. What did you think of this season? And uh, we'll see you in the next season. <laughs>